Now time for the happy ending. I am happy, you are happy. Let us be happy together. Whether the weather is cloudy or sunny, I will always be a funny honey bunny. I am lucky, you are lucky. Let us get lucky together. Whether the weather is cloudy or breezy, I'll be there to say, hey, come on, let's take it easy. Because isn't it nice to have the friends that you do? And isn't it nice that the sky is so blue? And isn't it nice to say I love you? Chugga, chugga, choo, choo, woo, woo. I am smiling, you are smiling, let us smile together, whether the weather is cloudy or stormy, I will still be there in the morning, I'll be right by your side in the morning, I'll make you breakfast in the morning, I hope that you like cereal. The promos are working. Welcome back to the House Sparks radio program, Mega Worldwide, and yes, it is now time for the happy ending. Is this, Yay! all right, it's starting to become Devin. It's starting to become Devin's show at this point. Yeah. Like I, that yeah. is, these are the that longest no promos, no intros I have. Yeah. I mean, I'm, le- I'm, we're out of time. Thanks so much. <laughs> no, <Yeah. I'm> <laughs> um, by the way, uh, twitch.tv slash Al Sparks. Um, and of course, uh, infotainmentwars.com is, uh, will take you to the YouTube page. Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, a follow, share the show, help us out, all that kind of stuff. In, uh, in honor of Billy, our, you know, our chat regular who uh, passed away, who, I mean, we, you know, we, there are a few where we just like look forward to seeing them. You know, there's a lot we do, quite frankly, as the show has grown, that number has increased. But there were, you know, a few of the folks who've been with us for the longest, um, in the same way that I'm melancholy in that all the people that have passed in the last year that I've been, you know, dealing with my own emotional feelings about, um, catch me and catch my breath every so often and kind of snatch it from me. I often find myself um, thinking about members of our chat when when it comes up and we, we have points of concern about them and they know who they are and I don't want to, you know, um, bring any undue attention. They, to they know what they did. <laughs> but they, um, but, you know, we, that's why we, you know, we're sometimes like, I'm like, I hope they're okay. Like I have those moments and I know you do too, yeah. Johnny. We're like, I hope they're doing all right. I know, uh, you know, uh, Milkman Norm saying from back in the Ustream days. That's right. When this show was just, yeah. you know, before, yeah. you know, when live streaming was a thing and everybody thought I was crazy for doing it, you know, here I am right again. Um, so I think the happiest of happy endings is that, um, A, we have a wonderful gathering of folks um, that are with us, you know, on the regular and um, and I want to send out as much love as is physically possible. To quote uh, Albert Brooks in one of my favorite movies, Defending Your Life, I wish I could squeeze you all into one pretty woman. But um, <laughs> there, there's a lot of, uh, you know, happy ending kind of stuff that's out there. You know, and real happy ending stuff, not my, you know, begrudgingly happy ending stuff. Like real stuff like, like renewables have outpaced the cost, have uh, outpaced the the cost of uh, fossil fuels um, consistently enough over the last six months that they are actually driving investment now, that that's the primary driver investment. That not just that the Arizona um, uh, troll is falling apart, not just that uh, Matt Gates and uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene's event that was supposed to be on tonight, as much as it harms my ability to uh, make comedy jokes, about their speeches, uh, their event got capsized today. The city of Riverside that owns the venue that they were going to be in said no and uh, kicked them to the curb. They're going to go have to do it in somebody's yard um, or uh, you know have the uh, Freedom Block Party. Um, yeah, well, I you know it's hey if it worked for Rat back in the day, you know. Oh, all those, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, all those '80s hair bands here in the LA area. They had they they did shows in Riverside in people's backyards. That wasn't yeah, an yeah, uncommon yeah, endeavor, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. and and I have to say, I don't, I don't know how. And maybe this isn't as cheery a, a, a happy ending as I would like, but it's hard not to kind of revel in the attacks on Fox News by the right that are going on right now. They are unrelenting and bitter and and to the point where Tucker Carlson is having to create fake NSA scandals about himself just to try and give himself like insurrectionist street cred with the Newsmax OAN RSBN crowd 
all of whom, um, while Fox, you know, is it, their entire purpose has been to elect as many Republicans as possible over the years, and that's the purpose overall of their network. The purpose of OAN, Newsmax, RSBN, and is it America's Voice, American Voices Network, or whatever Steve Bannon is on, um, yeah. where he has yeah. the war room. That the purpose of those networks, of course, is to kill as many Republicans as possible through anti-vax rhetoric and, I guess, getting them to uh, run headlong into, you know, uh, you know, create their own militia and go out in a, you know, as big of a puff of Timothy McVeigh as they can pull off. You know what I mean? Basically being an online audio book of the Turner Diaries. Um, but the... Watching them jump all over Fox News, um, this is, okay, so, uh, I mean, there's a bunch of these stories almost everywhere, but this isn't from Ross Ray. Uh, Trump was re uh, reacted to an Associated Press investigation that dis discredited his conspiracy theories about massive voter fraud in Arizona, a state which uh, was won by Joe Biden. Uh, Joe Biden. Arizona County election officials have identified fewer than 200 cases of potential voter fraud uh, out of more than 300 million ba ballots cast in the presidential election, further discrediting former President Donald Trump's claims of a stolen election as his allies continue a disputed ballot review in the state's most populous county. Again, uh, 200, less than 200 cases of potential, not 200 cases, not even 184 cases, 184 potential cases, which I think is important to remind yourself when you're dealing with crazy people. Um, the, uh, the Associated Press found 182 cases where problems were clear enough that officials referred them to investigators for further review. So far, only four cases have led to charges, including those identified in a separate state investigation. No one has been convicted. No hmm. person's vote hmm. was counted twice. Hmm. Hmm. No, can I just, no person's vote was counted twice. Now, understand that the, the big story in Arizona is that there's, too many people speak Spanish in that state. That's a bunch of illegals are voting. That's that's really the that's the root of the what they're arguing there. Let's just, don't don't kid yourself. They're not worried about double voting because those are all Trumpers. Fox News and, and, and um, Trump sent out a you know one of his statements, which I love ignoring. Fox News and other media outlets incorrectly set aside with the outdated and terrible Maricopa County Election Board to report no fraud found in the presidential election. They spew the gross misinformation purposely to put out by the county and the Associated Press and ignore the very important Arizona Senate's hearing yesterday. Trump said while uh, the same anchor at the desk on the night, Fox called Arizona for Joe Biden. Now wants you to believe there was no fraud. The anchor was Brett Baer. He's naming them by like it was the anchor's fault. Do you think any of us blame uh, Steve Kornacki for counties that we wish Democrats had won? Donald Trump is the first troll president. The audit was uh, just that, a troll. It was not a real audit. And everybody running it is a troll. This is silly. And my reaction to it is going to be the same to, as I do to trolls today. Thanks for playing. Goodbye. See you guys next week. No. Thank you so much. Thank you, Johnny Million. Thanks, everybody in the chat room for joining us today. Thanks to EO and Robert from Florida and, and others for calling in. And um, long live Billy Hutchins. Uh, we love you. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, Billy, 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 Billy. Oh, Billy. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time.